uh, we begin by recognizing work that epitomizes individual journalistic courage. This is courage that expands to create, embrace, and give hope to an entire community. Our first Peabody Award for 2007 goes to Bob Woodruff reporting the long road home for our nation's soldiers. No one wants to go to Richmond and see like the Marine Corps captain that lived in the room next to him that was drooling on himself and wearing diapers. It goes from being graphic to disturbing, and people don't want to see the disturbing part. Jared, can you tell me the story about what happened to you? Uh, I was shot in the head, injured on the right side, and it wrapped around the inside of my helmet, exit uh, on the back left side. And how has it changed in all of this time? It sucks. <laughs> I think I agree with you on this one. Here to accept the Peabody Award is Bob Woodruff. Thank you, Legend. Well, I'm going to keep this pretty short for you, because I know I'm supposed to. First, I want to say that I see Coca-Cola is one of the supporters here. The one who ran that company for so long is Robert W. Woodruff, the exact same name as mine. Um, so I know why you picked me for this award tonight. <laughs> Although I have to tell you, I am not related whatsoever to that family. I have not gotten a single penny. <laughs> but I do want to just thank those that have done this with me. This is, this is our team. And I, in fact, I wrote them down because I didn't forget a single one. First of all, uh, David Weston and others for not firing me do all of this. Uh, no idea that I would even be able to sit here or stand here and speak right now, even two years ago, is almost impossible. I have to thank my wife for sticking by her love for me as well. She's out here in the ocean as well. I really want to thank documentary group, which is remarkable to Iraq and back. Uh, Casey Jennings, Tom Yellen, Gabrielle Tenenbaum, Susan Schaefer, all of it put this together. We're also working on another piece for this spring, for this summer on China and its expansion. Um, I also, two years in a row for this uh, documentary group to win Peabody, two years in a row, which is absolutely remarkable. Well done. <laughs> I also want to thank uh, producer Keith Suma, who's also here. Even though he left us for CBS, we still love him. Uh, Jim Hill, who has now worked on these other pieces, and he is absolutely guy, too. He, he was spent at least more than a month away from his family to be here with me to work on these pieces after I was recovering. I want to thank all of my photographers, my other APs, and I'm missing so many names, and I'm sorry about all that, but I really need to thank Doug Vogt, our cameraman, who's now recovering as well. He lives in France. Uh, Magnus Macedo and Vinnie Malhotra, who both of, all of which were in the tank when I was actually hit. But one point that I really want to tell you is that it was one thing for us to concentrate on what we had gone through. Um, but I think the big point was to try concentrate on those other military soldiers and Marines who have been injured in this war. We just need to pay so much more attention to them to give them the kind of dignity that they deserve. And we're going to continue to work on this, and so many people in this room are continuing to do the same, exactly the same thing. I just want to share one last thing with you. And first of all, I forgot John Banner and, of course, Charlie Gibson as well for all of the work that they've done on all of this. But I do want to just show you our book. Did you buy it yet? Uh, anyway, the new paperback that just came out. I just want to talk about the number of children that we're able to meet and these military families who have been injured one of the most moving things is to talk to these little kids um, about what this is like for them to go through. In this book, at the very end, my little daughter, who's seven years old when she wrote this, now just eight years old, wrote about her first time she even knew anything about this kind of injury. She writes, I was kissing my mom and telling her I was happy and didn't want my dad to go to any war again and never has so far. I missed him so much when he was in the doctors. I was really, really, really worried about dad. What I thought about mom was I was happy 
that she was taking care of Dad so well. I wasn't worried about how much she took care of us. Dad looked a lot different than he did before, and he is the best daddy in the world. I missed him more than anyone in the world could miss anyone. He was happy to come home, and I was happier than he was because he had a traumatic brain injury. So because of our reporting, people have learned new things, and I really respect this award. Thank you.